Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is Electromatic Train. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is a copper wire, 18 gauge, a AAA battery, six uh, magnets, 5 8 inch pipe, and a wire cutters. To start off this experiment, I'm using an 18 gauge, 25 foot copper wire um, with a 5 8 inch uh, electrical pipe. I drilled a hole in the pipe so I could stick the wire in, which will hold um, the wire at one end. And then you, what you're going to do is um, continue to uh, wrap the wire around the electrical pipe as tight as you can. Um, you can see there's some gaps right there, but um, every once in a while I will pull up and get it flush um, because we want it as tight as we can with the copper wire. I wish I would have bought um, a hundred foot uh, copper wire because then I could have made a circle and then my train could have went in a circle completely and I'm only going to have um, a straight path for this for this experiment but definitely uh, if you guys go out and do this make sure you um, go out and get a, lo a longer uh, copper wire and then also maybe even have an electric drill or something hooked to the pipe so it could spin it so you could get done a lot quicker, even though it didn't take that long to put the copper wire on. Um, and then uh, the electrical pipe I just used, uh, got at the hardware store, uh, same with the um, uh, copper wire. So here I'm checking back. I pulled it up tight. You can see it's really tight here. Um, and I'm about uh, three quarters of the way done. And I'll check back in just a little bit. Here I'm back again. I'm just about to finish up here on the um, the wire, and then I want to show you how to get it off. You want to keep it as tight as possible when pulling it off because if it gets too loose, um, the experiment's not going to work. Um, and so uh, we're almost there. Once I get to the end of this, then I'll be able to. Uh, you're going to use some wire cutters because remember the other end um, I w wove in. Um, a piece of uh, copper at the in the pipe to be able to hold it on so it wouldn't slide off. And I'm going to cut that and then um, slide it off and then we'll be able to do the experiment. All right, so I'm at the end of the putting the wire uh, copper wire onto the pipe, and uh, now I need to take my wire cutters and cut the end where I drilled the hole in and slid the the copper in, take the piece out, and now it's free to slide off the end because it's not um, hooked into that hole right there. And once I get it uh, out, uh, then I'm able to um, do the experiment. I'm going to use a AAA battery and um, put the three uh, neo um, magnets on each end. So you put, once you have your magnets on each end of the battery, um, it just slides on right on through and goes all the way down the tracks, which is pretty impressive. Um, so one thing to set it up is you need to make sure that uh, the magnets are placed on the battery correctly so the poles are facing opposite directions so if it doesn't work make sure you switch the batteries around and then you're able to get it to work so how does the train work well electricity and magnets are linked in a way that scientists don't completely understand each can create the other so when we wrap the copper wire into the coils and run the electric current through it it will create a magnetic field, which I've done in another experiment, which I'll put in the description so you can actually see how to make a magnetic field. If you rotate the permanent magnet in the opposite uh, to the uh, uh, item that has been magnetized inside the coil of the copper wire, you create a electrical current. But in this project, the magnets at the end of the battery create a bar magnet with the north and south pole. Remember, you have to have the opposite ends, otherwise it wouldn't work. When you put the train inside the coils, it causes the electrical current to flow around the copper wire, which creates a magnetic field in the section of the wire coils right around the train. This magnetic field has its own north and south poles, which pushes the train along the track. You'll notice the train will only run in one direction, so go ahead and give it a try and go the other way, and it's not going to work because of the magnetic poles. It's pretty amazing science. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe as we do a new video every day. Thanks for watching.